Hello family, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Author's channel. You are in the right place. Please hit the red button that says subscribe, turn on the notification button and you will be notified whenever I post anything new. So guys, I travel to my country, Nigeria, yay! So I have so much gist to download many cultures so many traditions so many music so yes i went to the countryside my village and we did a lot of benevolence we gave us gave out so many stuff yes yeah you can see from the video clip yeah so many people need so many things and uh, praise god that we were able to give out as much as we could yeah but there are so many so many people out there that need more of our help okay so yeah enjoy the clip as we keep going yeah so look at the whole thing here um I, I felt that there are so many things to still do and i made some vegetable soup look at it all natural i made a cross soup very very delicious and i also made my husband's favorite yes i did a goosey soup so lovely as well then we dress up for the church as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my friend had an occasion that we had to, I had to be there for her. Yeah, she got a chieftain tie title. Congratulations, beautiful. Yeah, so I went there, see me dancing and chilling with her. It was such a wonderful time observing our tradition as well. Yes, it was so, so cool. Look at my sister digging it. Oh my goodness. Thank <laughs> you. 
up for church. Yeah, church service. This is myself, my husband. Yeah, we have a family. to Namda Zikiwe International uh, local airport in Abuja. So this is Abuja. Yeah, we have arrived. It was like maybe about 45 minutes to an hour flight to get to Abuja. And this is Abuja. I was getting So we went to this hotel. Hell, oh my god, Hilton Transcop, one of the best hotels I've ever been in Nigeria. It was awesome. I loved it from the entrance, the lobby, the entertaining music. Oh my goodness, the rooms were nice. the lobby oh my world jeez yeah this look like a hotel you see here in the united states of america but here in nigeria look at it so people show all the ugly things all the nasty things the hungry kids and every other negativity about nigeria but check out this this is in nigeria can you believe that that all the negativities they showcase we still have some beautiful beautiful environment atmosphere buildings hotels and nice people one can ever meet yeah this is the hallway upstairs yeah we were on the i think it was on the fourth floor yeah they serve out with wine kirishi some nuts and cookie bars and chocolate bars so it was so awesome the bed was one of the softest and firmest and beautiful mattress what can lay in and feel like a savior in your own house in america look at my balcony i look out of the window 
Look at how beautiful it was up there. Mm hmm yes look at the room was so humongous look at the bathtub the shower and the sink and the towels all lined up mm -mm, very, very clean no stain no spot whatever everything was just on point in this hotel yes i love it love it love it love it i have to showcase and give honor and thanks to these beautiful people and all they have put together and also to my friend yes she also did awesome here yeah, so I couldn't gush in over this room. Look at me waving because they had these humongous mirrors surrounding the bathroom and the hallway inside the bedroom. You know, yeah, into the hotel room. So look at this upscale bed. And also, I had to tour the entire hotel room showcasing the beauty of this Hilton Transcorp Hotel Abuja. Yes, it is a top-notch hotel. So after that, my brother took us out to go eat. Yeah, my husband had vegetable soup and I had a goosey soup. I love a goosey soup. My brother also had a rikai con. I believe that's what it is. So, but it was a good dinner. The food was good, superb, and I loved the restaurants we went to. So it was the restaurant in the city. When we came back, we went for a night club. My husband and sister, we just sat back and chilled. of the Hilton Hotel for a buffet breakfast. Yes, it was a top-notch breakfast. There was nothing we couldn't see there. And again, you know, certain things they called breakfast was just a full meal. Like they had rice and stew, goat milk, moi moi akara, custard, pap, vegetables, fruits, soups. Yes, I mean, oh my goodness, I had Odara, you know, the African uh, apple. It was really, really good. So sometimes I was just testing everything, not because I really wanted to eat, but testing. And this is the second floor reception and lobby. Yeah, we went up there to do the, what do they call it, NIN number, you know, whatever they were doing there in Nigeria. So we had to go to the bank to have us done as well. So yeah, that is the swimming pool and the fount water fountain. So yeah, we were in the in the mood for that. So we weren't prepared for that. So I just had to look at through my window to see the fountain and it was really, really good. They also had a very big swimming pool. So I was just touring the environment. I can't wait to travel next time with my kids. They're gonna love it. This is the next day breakfast. Yeah. So, like I said, we took so many food that we couldn't even eat. I just wanted to taste so many other things. Then after that, we went to the fish market, Abuja, because I needed to get some dry fish to bring back. And you can see this. I felt like carrying everything back to the U.S. Yeah, so we bought like a whole bunch of fish worth like about 150,000 Naira. Yeah, we bought so much fish and I also bought crayfish. So those are the two most important things that I needed to bring back and again yeah it was an awesome experience in this fish market and I could see that Nigeria is mixing up in languages because these people were mainly house but they were speaking Igbo as well so after that in the evening we went to the airport the international airport to find our way back to the United States mm -hmm. and uh, again you know Nigerian airport sometimes a lot of struggle here and there yeah 
some difficulties checking in here and there but again we were able to sell through settle and wait for the flight to take off and bring us back yeah so we flew through um through Turkey, yeah, we flew through Turkey in the the airport over there at Turkey was a top notch, just as a spirited. So this is the Turkey airport as the uh Istanbul airport. So beautiful and gorgeous, well built. So when I look at this, I'll be like, ah, our people need to do better. Our Niger need to do better with our airports, especially the international airports. They are trying. Some states are trying, but we need to do much more better. Look at this airport. Hey, look at it. Even the floor is so cute. And I forgot to mention in the Nigerian airport, I went to the bathroom. There was no toilet tissue and there was no soap in the bathroom. I had my personal hand sanitizer and that's what I use. So our people need to improve and do better, especially when people are boarding and they're using the bathroom. They need to also wash their hands with soap. And good water all right so here are the turkish delight i love this environment you know i saw all the brand name stores like louis vuitton and fendi gucci prada all of those top notch they were all over the place i went on pricing stuff that I, I knew very well i wasn't gonna buy anyway so again yeah they had so many of them lined up and with good stuff i mean good quality stuff yeah the type of stuff i love to cruise with yeah so after that we went for a breakfast in there here we saw carl jr we saw popeyes you know and um we ended up for me i ended up eating from popeyes and my husband went for carl jr so we enjoyed it then we took off again to the u.s oh my god it was a long flight very very long 13 hours unbelievably so okay here we are in dallas fort worth international airport yay finally and back 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 so thank you guys for watching i'm doing well settled well my kids doing good they love me back